Hey guys, welcome to another division video. This time we're going to be looking at special Kuman vendor. Seems that the update dropped today 1.2, so it seems like we got some new weapons, so let's check them out. Alright, so we got the Historian high end, which is a new high end they added with the update. It's up, talents are prepared, intense, harmful. Uh, only good perk I see here is prepared. Talent is kind of like, um, I don't know, it's kind of, it's not really good perk. And then we got Harmful, which has a chance, 30% chance to apply the bleed status effect to the target. Which would be good if you're like in a dark zone, you know, you need to fight rogues or so whatever, slow them down or whatever it is. But for PvE, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't have a marksman rifle and you want to try one out, you want to have one with 204 gear score, I guess this one would be for you. But I recommend it not to get in it, but you know, do what you want. Alright, so we got the custom P40, PF45 for the high end on the pistol. Now, I would recommend this one if you need a, a pistol at 204, a high end pistol 204. Uh, the talents are expert and the talents are deadly. So, even you know, for a pistol, it's pretty good price for a pistol. Because the only thing that actually changes is, like, is the talent for deadly. That's another one that gets changed for the pistols. And the next one is Marine Super 90 shotgun. Uh, if you, this is a good shotgun you want to try out with uh, you know a shotgun like gear set that you want to try out this is a good be a good one but i don't i wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't have any good perks to take out the enemies quick uh the only perk i would say uh, is maybe dominant is pretty cool just increases your signature all right but yeah it would be helpful because you can take down people fast or enemies fast with that shotgun so it would be kind of good to have that but overall i wouldn't recommend getting this one either Converted SMG 982 is a 182 submachine gun, but um, this is the uh, submachine guns you can get at 204. So I would just say just save your your Phoenix credit for maybe you want to get something else. But this seems like seems like this perks are not really good either. Nothing really like crazy. Maybe a uh, a dab would be a pretty cool one if you use like you know your uh, pulse or your healing right away after you start shooting before you start shooting. I mean, but yeah, that'd be a good perk. Um, I don't know about the other ones. It seems like just duration increase of skill power or skill uh, base. All right, so we got spec off mass for, uh, and then we got the tactical mass. We got a tactical mass again. We got now spec off some armor, and this is a new one here. The holsters. This is Paris Mark holster, which is part of the new gear set. Uh, has protection from elites, ballistic shield damage, and it's a bonus are optimal range of assault rifle damage. Well, actually, it's for the bonuses. So, 2 would be optimal range, 20% optimal range. Third set, 800 assault, assault rifle damage, and the 700 pistol damage. And then, set bonus 4 is Purge's Mark, which is hit 10 shots without switching target to make the target bleed for 100% of damage already done by those bullets. So, you know, that's a good um, gear set to have. You want to, you know, I would say it's more for, uh, what's it called? I would say more for uh, the dark zone, you know, just when you go, when you go rogue or you, you fire rogues, you know, that'd be a good set to have, slow them down, but there's only, I would recommend this for, more for dark zone, but, you know, you could, it has a good assault rifle depth, so yeah, yeah, I would recommend that, that. And Hunter's Faith Holster is a new one, protection from elite, third duration, not really good perks, not really good bonus attributes, but the set bonus for two would be Marksman Rifle Critical Hit Damage by 20%. Then set bonus 3 damage to elites and talent. The fourth set would be Thunder's Face would be hitting an enemy with the bullet grants you temporary armor. The further you're shot, the more armor, the armor disappears after one bullet hits you. So it's kind of a, seems like it's like mostly for taking one shot, like a hard shot, one hard shot from bullets. Kind of, kind of weird. It's kind of a weird one. Let's see how that works. Then for the blueprints, we got new ones this one, this time. Uh, we got Lone Star Holster Blueprint, we got a Hunter's Fade Knee Pass Blueprint, we got Sentry, well, Sentry's Call is the old one still, I mean, from last, the last update, but this is uh, still here. Uh, if you haven't got the other ones, they're probably still here. Uh, Lone Star's Mask is a new one, Hunter's Fade, Paradis Mark, Paradis Mark, Knee Pad, so these are all new here, all the ones I've mentioned, besides the Sentries and the, uh, yeah, besides those. So all these new blueprints, so if you want to craft your own, they're here, so you can try to get the perfect rolls that you want on your weapon i mean on your gear so yeah those are there and there seems like no soup no high-end blueprints like no new ones these are all the same ones from the last uh the last update so nothing new here so yeah that's about it so 
yeah, those are all the ones so available right now for blueprints or the gear that's there on the weapons. So it might be, let me see, 72 hours. So it's like three days, I think, like around three or four days. So it's going to restock probably on Friday or something, Thursday, Friday, something like that. But yeah, that's all the new stuff. And um, hope you guys uh, find the video useful. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys find the video useful. And I'll talk to you guys soon with another video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace.